اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Here's process macro, multiple mediation analysis. In this session, we are going to look into model 4 with multiple mediators. In the last session, we only had one mediator using model 4. What if you have multiple mediators with one IV and one DV? You are going to use model 4 in his process macro. Now, let's say we are going to test this particular model. We have got one IV that is culture. We have got one DV that is performance and we've got two mediating variables. Now look at this. This is your path from culture to commitment, which has been named as A1. The path from commitment to performance is B1. Now if we multiply A1 with B1, we will get the indirect effect from culture to performance through commitment. This is your direct effect in presence of the mediator C complement. This is your effect A2 from culture to reliability and B2 from reliability to performance. Model 4, this is the conceptual diagram. This is the statistical diagram. These are the paths as we just saw in the conceptual model that we are going to test as well. Now you've got one predictor, two mediators and one DV. All the variables are continuous. Now you should note that model 4 can allow up to 10 mediators operating in parallel. In this example, I'm just going to take a two mediators. You can go up to 10 mediators. Now, how do we run it? Let's go to SPSS. So go to analyze, regression, process macro. Now my IV is culture. My DV is organizational performance. My mediators are commitment and reliability. Let's select the model number four. Let's go to options. And let's say we want the total effects and we want these standardized effects. No options are needed from this particular section. Let's press continue and press OK. Now here is the output. First, the brief description as to what the model number is, the Y variable, X variable, the two mediators, the total sample size. And now since we've got multiple endogenous variables like Now this is a dependent variable or an endogenous variable. This one is a dependent and or endogenous variable. Now this variable here is affecting this variable. This variable is affecting this variable and this variable here is being affected by all these three variables. Now for each of these endogenous variables, SPSS will give you this particular table where you have the outcome variable and then the variable that is serving as an outcome. Now commitment is an outcome where it is affected by culture followed by reliability which is here reliability is an outcome which is affected by culture as well moving on we've got op that is affected by all the three other variables in the model now then we've got the total effects and all the other effects as well now how do we interpret this i've got the output here in powerpoint now again these are the options Let's move on. So how do we interpret the output? Description of the model along with the different variables where Y is your dependent variable, X is your independent variable, M1 is your mediating variable number one, M2 is your mediating variable number two, and this is your total sample size. Now, the first thing, as I mentioned earlier, each of the endogenous variable or anything that is being affected by any other variable will be assessed separately as an outcome variable where you have the outcome variable and which variables in the model are affecting that outcome variable. Now in this case, commitment is only affected by culture. Reliability is only affected by culture. So we've got two different tables. Now I'm referring to this text in the form of a table as a table. Now, is culture significant? Well, yes, culture has a significant impact on commitment. Here, the impact of culture on reliability is also significant because the p-value is less than 0.05. Now, we get these coefficients. So, culture has a significant impact on uh, commitment here because the p-value is less than 0.05. And your lower level and upper level confidence intervals, look at this, there is no zero in between. 
The same is the case with culture having a significant impact on reliability where your p-value is less than 0.001. Now again the lower level and upper level confidence interval do not have a zero in between. Now that you've got your a1 and a2, you've got the coefficients. This is your a1 and this is your a2, 0.5513 and 0.6041. The next step is you look at the performance. Now performance is another outcome variable being affected by culture, commitment and reliability. Now the impact of culture on performance here, OP, is your C complement. This is your direct effect. Whereas the other two are your B1 and B2. Now, commitment was found to have a significant impact on OP, that is commitment on OP, referred or identified as B1. Look at this, the p-value is less than 0.001. Now moving on, reliability also found to have a significant impact. Look at this, p-value less than 0.001, this is your path B2, this is your B1 and all three paths are significant. Now, the first thing that we do in assessing mediation is to look at the indirect effect, whether the impact of IV on DV passing through the mediator is significant or not. Well, you can calculate indirect effect by simply multiplying A1 into B1. That is the path from your IV to your mediator and B1 that is your path from your mediator to dependent. Now, where are these paths? Here, have a look. Here are these paths, B1. This is commitment to performance. Commitment to performance is your B1. Reliability to performance is your B2. So where is your A1 and A2? Here it is. Culture to commitment A1, culture to reliability A2. Where it is? Here it is. A2, 0.5513, A1, 0.6041. And you saw that earlier in this model as well. A1, B1, A2, B2. So how do we calculate the indirect effect? From culture to performance through commitment, we simply multiply the path coefficient that is A1 into path coefficient B1, 0.6041 multiplied by 0.3335 and you will get this output. Similarly, your indirect effect 2, that is the effect from culture to performance through reliability, again, you simply multiply the path coefficients A2, that is the path coefficient from culture to reliability and B2, that is the path coefficient from reliability to performance. And when you multiply it, this is what you get. Now, are these paths significant? Your direct effect, your C complement, that is the impact of culture on performance in presence of the mediators was this. Now, the total effect is simply the addition of direct effect, that is this, plus this effect and this effect, because now we have got two indirect effects. Now, is it the same? Yes, it is the same. The total effect is 0 0.5653, 0 0.5653. If you do it, you will get this particular output. Now, is there mediation? Look at this. Indirect effects are significant. How do I know that indirect effects are significant? Indirect effect of X on Y, that is your culture on organizational performance through commitment. Is it significant? The effect size is 0.2014. Is it significant? Yes, it is significant. There is no zero in between. The indirect effect of X on Y, that is your culture on performance through reliability, that is your second mediator is it significant yes it's significant there is no zero in between now this is your standardized effect so your indirect effects are significant is it partial or full mediation now it is partial mediation why because your direct effects in the presence of mediator is significant is it complementary or competitive now you simply multiply your a1 into b1 into c complement if there is a negative sign this is competitive if all three are positive, and yes, in this case, all three paths are positive, that is A1 into B1 into C complement, you will get a positive result because A1, B1, and C are positive. Same is the case with the other paths, A2, B2, and C complement. So in this case, it's complementary mediation. Now, how do you report the output? Here is a sample. First, you mention the total effect, that is from culture to performance. Culture and performance, your culture is your IV, performance is your DV. Direct effect in presence of the mediator, this is significant. Now, your indirect effects are also significant. T value is greater than 1.96. Now, this is two-tailed. Obviously, if you want one-tailed, you can simply refer to it or compare it with 1.645. 
Now in this case, lower bound, upper bound, there is no zero in between, no zero in between, and again both paths or both indirect effects are significant. The study assessed the mediating role of commitment and reliability on the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. The results revealed a significant indirect effect of culture on performance through commitment, that is your first mediator. Is it significant? Yes. So hypothesis one is supported. The study also found a significant indirect effect of collaborative culture on organizational performance through reliability. And is it significant? Yes, it is significant because the T value is greater than 1.96. Furthermore, the direct effect was also found significant. Now, if your direct effect is found significant, you will say, yes, there is partial mediation. In this case, your direct effect was significant. What if this was insignificant? That is, in presence of the mediator, the impact of IV on DV was insignificant. This would have meant that the impact of IV on DV is passing through the mediators rather than directly. So you would have said full mediation. I hope this session would have helped you understand how to perform mediation analysis using his process macro.